Peggy 18. Coming up, new details on the Mass Effect 3 Collector's Edition. Plus, we head up to Edmonton to see how Bioware is improving combat in Mass Effect 3. Next, on Bioware Pulse. You're locked in to Bioware Pulse. I'm David Silverman. A couple weeks ago, a new video hit the net revealing the contents inside the Collector's Edition of Mass Effect 3. In case you missed it, I'll break it all down for you. Let's fire up the headlines! Mass Effect 3 is just a few months away, and if you're a serious fan like me, then the N7 Collector's Edition includes stuff you won't want to miss out on. In terms of physical goods, you'll receive a 70-page hardbound art book, a limited edition Mass Effect Dark Horse comic, an N7 patch, and an exclusive lithograph for the Normandy. There's also plenty of in-game digital content, including an N7 Arsenal pack, alternate outfits for your squad mates, a robotic dog, and an in-game N7 hoodie for your shepherd to wear. You also get a digital copy of the Mass Effect 3 soundtrack, bonus character emissions, and Xbox 360 copies of the Collector's Edition include a Normandy prop for your Xbox Live avatar. All this comes in a premium metal case that sports commemorative artwork of Commander Shepard, both male and female. Yes, we listened. So head on over to MassEffect.com and check out the unboxing video in case you missed it. Keep in mind though that its supplies are extremely limited, so pre-order it today while you still can. Now, if you're wondering how to best prepare yourself for the war against the Reapers, we're well, going to need some new tactics, so we're going to throw to some guys, we're going to give you some tactics. It's time for Insider. Hi, my name is Eric Banya, and I'm one of the gameplay designers on Mass Effect 3. Hi, I'm Corey Gasper, I'm one of the combat designers on Mass Effect 3. And this is the gameplay room where we have programmers, designers, QA, and producers all working on combat. And today we're going to take a closer look at the combat in Mass Effect 3. So we've put a lot of effort into improving our powers. Every class gets a new unique power. And uh, also we've improved the old ME2 powers. So here I'll show the new engineer power, the sentry turret. So you can launch a turret to spawn in the air. And so you can use this to flank any enemy. So one of the cool things with the sentry turret as well is that you can deploy it and actually see it through walls. So one of the old ME2 powers that we've upgraded is Overload. So this was a anti-shield power in ME2. And we've given it a couple extra upgrades so you can chain the attack. We're going to be giving you guys a sneak peek of the Vanguard and their brand new power Nova, as well as a new Krogan shotgun. So here's our Vanguard charge ability that everyone loved in Mass Effect 2. Nova is a close range shockwave power that uh, is a high risk, high reward power just like charge. It will expand your barrier to do high damage to all enemies around it. So as we know, all vanguards love their shotguns and the Grawl is really unique because you can fire a tight cone of spikes at a target, it'll stick into them from long range and actually bleed the target out for a while. The Grawl is one of the most accurate shotguns in the game. Some of the big things we wanted to improve is in melee combat, giving the player more options in close combat and giving them more tactics. So we've tried to give every class in Mass Effect a new, unique uh, heavy melee. For instance, this is the Adept's heavy melee, so it'll send a guy flying through the air with high force. So the Engineer's heavy melee is completely different. It's high damage, very little force, and it's all fire-based. So this is going to help the Engineer take out heavily armored opponents. We've revamped the enemy AI in Mass Effect 3. So here, Eric's an adept, and as you can see, shooting the Guardian head-on is probably not the best way of going about it. But the adept has a trick up his sleeve. He can pull the shield right out of the Guardian's hand, and other classes may have different strengths or weaknesses against certain enemies. So for example, the Cerberus Engineer can deploy a little turret in the world which is pretty hard to deal with, but if you're the engineer player class, you can hack that turret and turn it against the Cerberus faction. And that's something our team has put a lot of work into, is making each class have different ways of interacting with the enemies in unique and interesting ways. Thanks guys. As you can see, you and your squad mates are going to need all the help they can get to win this war. 
We'll keep you up to date and informed with Eric and Corey next week as they give you some tips and tricks on using the new gameplay modes to your advantage. As always, stay tuned to Bioware TV for more exclusive insider features. From Bioware Pulse, I'm David Silverman, reminding you to keep your fingers on the pulse.